Hi, it's me, Vel, and you're watching my virtual travel diary. In this trip, we're going to the Mountain Province. Going to Bontoc Mountain Province from Manila only took us 10 hours. We departed at 9 p.m. at Codaline's bus terminal and arrived in Bontoc proper at 7 a.m. While we're waiting for the first trip of Jeepney going to Barangay Maligong, Noy and Jem are eating their breakfast habang ako nakikipagharutan sa aso. Hi! Hi! Oh, not Hi! <laughs> it's actually a Saturday morning, so I was trying to find the chapel of Iglesia de Cristo to know the schedule of the worship service. I looked for someone to talk to until I saw a tricycle driver wearing one with EVM shirt. So I assumed na kapatid nga siya. And luckily, kapatid nga. Opo, ayun po yung akitin po namin. He gave me a free ride and showed me where the chapel is situated and told me the schedule of the worship service that day. Also, he showed me where we're gonna ride a jeep going to Barangay Madigong and then we just had a little discussion about life and everything in random. Ano yung mong pangalan niyo po? Loli. 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 Our journey hasn't yet begun, but we already noticed that dogs of the mountain province are actually different than what we usually see on the streets back in the city. Hi! Sad ka? Kamusta rin ba yung video natin? Diba? Parang retriever niya eh, parang dark brown retriever. Tamang chill lang. Yung mga darata ng mga Amerikano dati. Kasi yung Amerikano yun na dito. Oo, develop. It's almost 8 a.m. when we left Bontoc proper for Barangay Maligong. In most cases, the need for rides were greater than the seats available. Every conceivable space was filled with children, live chickens, vegetables, grain, rice bags, and other goods, making the supplementary seating on top necessary. So as expected, we chose the top load to give way for other passengers, but more than that, for a better scenic view and to fill the refreshing mountain air. I always prefer to ride top load than every travel because this is every young girl's dream aside from hanging off the back of a jeepney, something that we cannot do in the city.
after 30 minutes of top load experience, we arrived at the homestay that we booked beforehand. Its name is Dong Ilai that comes from a Kalinga folk song, Dong Dong Ai. It's a place where it is nice to stay when you visit Maligong's tourist attractions, Mount Fato, Mount Kupape, and Maligong Rice Terraces. Hi guys! Nandito kami sa Maligong! Ang kulit mo! Nandito kami sa Maligong! Ah, ang pangalan nito! Sarah, saan ko kayo? Wait lang, kung yan ang nakasara? Ay, 
Ito yung view, yung chiminea. Ito po yung view. Nakasira ka. Marunong tayo magbalik. Ano pa? Ano pa yung muko? Ito na yung last. Oh my God! Kaya na na-risk na din mo rin. May mga experience na yun, gumagawa din kami ng mga furniture. Furniture? Ah, furniture. Accent yung walang parang. Furniture. You can use the whole house that offers an indoor fireplace, hot shower, unlimited native coffee, and a very cute attic. The sea of clouds can also be seen while passing by your window, covering maligong rice terraces in front of you. Our main purpose of going there is to climb the Mount Fato and Mount Kupape. Ate Denya, the caretaker of the homestay, prepared our lunch so we can take some rest after before we hike. Hi guys! Pakit kami ng Mount Fato, di ba? Hi! Pakit kami ng Mount Fato! Madam, did you remember? In the living room, I asked you, you come, you watch my game in my team in Dubai, you watch my basketball. After that, we go back in the house, right? Then we sit together. And I asked you, why all these things you doing to me? But I'm your mate. And I asked you, if you are my girlfriend, please know me. Then you say, oh, all these things you didn't see, you didn't feel, you didn't appreciate what I'm doing. 